Welcome to the Best in Class Insights series. Today, we'll be talking about ERP business transformation and implementation leadership. Hello, I'm Robbie Bolo, Senior Insights Director here at Class, joined today by Caleb Harris, who's our Research Director over ERP implementations. Caleb, this has been a new category. Uh, yes. When we talked implementation prior to summer of 2021, it was always EMR. What led to these new categories for ERP? Excellent question. So really what the impetus behind this change is historically we had all of our ERP engagements in our business solutions implementation bucket. And as we saw just the significant number of decisions around ERP happening, we knew because of the just energy in the market, we had to separate that out. And so as of really summer of 21, uh, we've created cat two categories. It's our ERP business transformation and implementation leadership bucket, as well as our EP implementation um, leadership bucket. And really there is just more so to provide additional clarity and insight of what's happening from a services perspective in the ERP market. And I guess this makes sense. We could have seen this coming because yes. back in the day, EMR, that was that first big <clears throat> decision that healthcare Correct. provider organizations made. Then it was the ERP. Then we saw the EMR replacement market, and mm -hmm. I guess it just makes sense. We knew the ERP replacement market was going to follow. Definitely. It, so, so, and I think too, COVID is another component of, of help just create additional, just with supply chain, human capital management, and understanding that side of it and how ERP can, can better facilitate some information and workflows uh, to enhance those areas of, of, of the healthcare system is, is another component, I think, that, that played into these decisions happening more rapidly as well. So what's the difference between these two categories you mentioned? The ERP business transformation sure. and implementation leadership and then just the ERP implementation yes. leadership. So again, excellent question. So our thought here is the business transformation component here is really where that, that big T transformation is, 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 is really part of the, the project. And that is, an, it's not an afterthought. It's really, this isn't something we're not just changing, a, making the ERP shift in a software perspective, but we're looking at everything from soup to nuts of how we go about our business when it comes to ERP. So really making that significant transformation and it's part of the SOW, SOW and part of this workflow. And so that's the, the, the biggest difference between the two is the business transformation. And that's why we thought it'd be appropriate to have that in the title of the segment of that really is core to the implementation. Whereas the ERP implementation bucket, there may be some minor transformational aspects, but it's not gonna be your, your big T. It's more so of a pure software implementation. Um, and what we have found just in those segments is in the business transformation, it's generally your usual suspects of having the big four. So KPMG, um, Accenture, Deloitte, Huron's in there. Um, and then in our, our ERP segment, uh, it's gonna be ROI, Bells, who was recently acquired by Nordic. Um, Apex is another one that would fall in that, I think would be some, some players that we see there. And both of these categories, these are gonna be those that led the implementation. Mm. Um, we still have HIT staffing as a category that traditionally had all the EMR implementations. These still include ERP implementations correct. where you're not leading them, correct? Yeah, I'm glad you brought that up. Absolutely, so for these, this is where again, they have been engaged. So clients or health systems go and they engage them to lead the particular projects. This isn't where they come and, and provide a couple of resources um, for a particular um, skill set. So we do have that staffing component where it's more so one-off resources for a particular project um, that we capture that type of information. So yes, great call out is this mm -hmm. is where firms have been contracted to lead the, lead the engagement. Yeah. So even though HIT staffing includes EMR and ERP, that still gives three categories now that Correct. class measures that includes ERP, ERP. implementations. Yep. Um, you mentioned the big four um, in the business transfer transformation category, sure. Huron won best in class last Correct. year in that category. Um, and then a lot of the other ones that you mentioned in the implementation leadership, you said uh, Nordic acquired Bales was mm -hmm. one of them. Um, Apex is one that we haven't seen before, but they had an acquisition that kind of led they, to this. They did. So they acquired, so historically AVAP has, has been, had a strong partnership with Infor. Um, they've recently become Workday partners. And so they actually sold their Infor arm to Apex. So Apex acquired a, um, there's a lot of A's there. Um, <laughs> Apex acquired AVAP's in for arm uh, is a recent change that we have seen as well. And, and that would be one where AVAP I think is interesting. As we mentioned the big four in the, in the business transformation side, they've made a concerted effort to try to again compete from a transformational standpoint. Um, and we're seeing some additional firms. So Cross, um, Crossview is another firm, Collaborative Solutions or Workday Focus firms as well. They're trying to make that way and be viewed more as that transformational type player versus more of an ERP specific software implementation. And the vast majority of implementations we're seeing are gonna be Infor, Oracle, Workday. Um, the big four that you mentioned, are, are they specific in any of those or are they gonna handle 
any of those? Good question. So um, KPMG is really focused more so on Oracle and Workday. I would say leaning more to Workday. Um, Deloitte would be would be across the spectrum there. Um, PwC again is going to be more Oracle and um, Workday is what we'll see. And Accenture would be across the board is what we'll see. So not not all across the board. Um, typically it's going to be Workday is definitely there. I would say KPMG is is the as of now the leader. We see a lot of of activity from them from a Workday perspective. In the implementation leadership category, ROI was the best in class mm -hmm. last year for that one. You mentioned a couple that are specific. What are what are some other ones that whether they're Infor specific or Oracle mm. specific or Workday specific? So from a Oracle, excuse me, from an Infor specific, so ROI, Bells, and, and just another recent acquisition that they were acquired by Nordic, so they're Infor focused. Apex is also Infor focused. Um, and then from a Workday perspective, we're looking at collaborative solutions, Crossview, Impact Advisors. Uh, they are not, they're a Workday, a recent Workday um, partner. Um, I, from what we validated Oracle and Infor engagements, but from what we understand, they're going to be focusing more so on the Workday side of the house. Are any of those three software vendors doing some of their own implementations? instead of just mm. requiring third-party in for Oracle Workday, do, are, do they do any of the implementation? So they do. Sense? I would say Oracle probably shies away from it um, okay. more so. Um, in for and Workday do their own, um, but that assigns what we have validated again is if it's the right fit for them to move forward, they'll do that, but I don't think they hesitate as much to if they need to bring in a third party. And they're really more so, because again, their focus is on the software side of it. So services isn't necessarily their, their sole focus. Um, so they're, if it makes sense and the client wants to go that, they definitely can do their implementations. Um, but I don't think they shy away from bringing in a third party to assist in, in, in the implementation process. From a roadmap perspective, wh where is class going with this? What have maybe been some sure. recent reports that have been published and where is the research gonna go in, over the next couple <clears throat> yeah, of years? Yeah, so we're really excited. So we're. Um, right in the heart of a, we're, we're doing a series of reports over the next year and a half, two years. And what we're doing is we're specifically focusing on the big three, if you will. So we're having a workday focused ERP implementation bucket. So what this report will focus on is specific workday firms uh, that, are, that are working, doing the implementation aspect. So we can really um, spotlight that. Uh, the second in that series will be our Infor focused report. Same same idea there, focusing on Infor focused firms. And then lastly, we'll have a Oracle focused report. Um, so we're hoping to have the Infor, or excuse me, the Workday report published later this year. Infor early Q1, mid Q2 next year, and then wrap up towards the tail end of, of 2023 with the Oracle report. Thank you so much, Caleb. Yeah. If you want to know more about our ERP business transformation and implementation leadership or ERP implementation leadership categories, visit us online at classresearch.com.